Hi friends, David here from Learn Stage Lighting. And today we're gonna dive in and look at the laser cube. In particular, uh, we're gonna unbox a brand new laser cube. This is the 2.5 watt Wi-Fi version. Um, but if you're looking to get started unboxing and really understand what's going on with the smaller uh, 1.2 or the 2.5 watt Pro, really this covers all of them really well. So the laser cube uh, Wi-Fi, when you do get it, whether through Learn Stage Lighting Gear, which we highly recommend, or somewhere else, it comes in this nice soft case. I mean, it's a semi-hard case. These are kind of popular um, because they they give you a decent amount of protection for you know the average user. If you're a production company, you use road cases. You can put this in a road case, and it, it really does protect the laser well. You can remove uh, the shoulder strap if you need to. Um, we're going to unzip this guy, he's going to clamshell open, and inside we're going to see a couple things. Now, I really love these cases, they, they've really worked on them a lot over the years. Um, I remember the first laser cube they sent me, well the first one in a case because the, the original ones were just in a cardboard box, um, but then they went to these cases and you know they've just gotten better and better because now, as you can probably see, um, cables are, are in the top here. There's nice little spots for all the cables. There's the cube itself. There's its power supply. The cards from X-Laser, we'll go over that in a minute. Uh, the strap, the safety switch, all the good stuff. So, where do we begin? What do we unbox first? Well, um, let's just walk through all the pieces, kind of spread them out on the table, show you what they do. So first and foremost, we have the laser cube itself. Now, this is a laser. It is a laser that here in the U.S. you need a variance to operate. It is a battery powered. Whoops, and mine got switched on a little bit. Um, so what we're going to do while we're getting started here is it got left switch on, uh, which means it, well, it ran out of battery. So I'm just going to grab the power supply here and the Mickey Mouse cable that goes with that. It's just a standard, it's, it's like an HP laptop. Um, and those come in the box as well. So we're gonna undo those super quick, get her plugged in here. Um, usually they should come at least with a partial charge, but again, my power switch got bumped at some point uh, in the midst of things, so it is off. Get that charging uh, while we talk about what else we've got in the box. So I mentioned a second ago that um, there is a welcome to laser cube card with QR codes. Shows you where to go to get info. Then there is your X laser EZ variance kit. Okay, if you are using this laser in the US, you have to have a laser variance, which is like a driver's license in order to use it. X laser bundles it with the laser. So you scratch off a code here on the back, you go to the website, you fill it out. I've had mine for years. The biggest key with the variances is it's easy to get, it's easy to sign all the things, um, they, they walk you through each step, what you're agreeing to, etc. Um, but every year, by September 1st, um, Xlaser will email you if you sign up for their emails. You need to fill out an extension, a basically a renewal on that variance, okay? It's free to do, but if you don't do it, it won't get renewed and you'll have to buy a new easy variance kit. I think they're $100. So don't just renew it every year. Put it on your calendar. Okay, next we have um, your keys, some feet so you can put little bumpers on the bottom of it. Uh, it comes with them, but I guess those are just spares. A tripod adapter for different tri size tripods. Um, and, and as I said, your keys. Now the keys are really important, okay? We'll get into the keys in a minute, but I'm just gonna pull them out. Okay, um, because your keys are part of how to legally operate your laser. Again, you want to go to the QR codes, to the URLs on this card, because they're going to walk you through everything you need to know for safe and safe use of the laser. Okay, don't be scared, it's not that bad. Next we've got, da -da -da -da. I'm not even sure what this is, we're going to find out together. Something wrapped in bubble wrap. Ah yes, we've got ourselves a lens kit, okay? So there's a bunch of lenses here inside this kit. You see they come out, this is a diffraction lens. 
Um, and, and these lenses are actually really cool. They didn't originally include these with the laser cubes, but they've got a nice little holder here and you can un you can pull this off, you can get it to all the lenses, but they actually sit, they could sit in the front of the laser. Okay, so once you open it up when it's turned on, again, never point it at skies, never point it at eyes, including cameras, it actually sits in there and can tighten down and allows you to use these different diffraction lenses when you're trying to do cool little diffractive laser things up close. Um, so really valuable, it's cool that they include those now. Just close this guy back up. So we got the lenses, okay. Next in our box, we've got a few more things. So we've got our emergency stop. I'm gonna show you how to set that up here in a second. We've got uh, another lens. This is like the, the macro fish eye lens, okay that uh, mounts on to the laser cube. I believe it mounts to one of these other lenses to pop on there. Okay. Then you get a little mini tripod, which can be helpful. You get a ball head, which can be very, very helpful for said tripod. And then there is a short network cable, a, oh, that's the mount for the big lens right there, the emergency stop cable there, safety cable, a little uh, set of straps for the cube itself, uh, which you can use sometimes, I think, to tie it down to things or what have you. And you also get a adapter from USB-C to Ethernet, uh, which can be helpful when connecting to various tablets wired, which is great. Okay, so you get all this stuff, you pretty much, when you buy a laser cube here in the US, you get like everything you're gonna need to run. So let's talk about making this thing start. Okay, so the laser cube itself um, has a couple steps to getting started, okay? So we have for ourselves, as I mentioned, some keys, we have an emergency stop, and, uh, we have the laser itself. So the laser itself works over Wi-Fi. Actually, there's a there's a wireless antenna in here somewhere that I lost already. There it is. Now it was in this, it's in with the safety cable. They give you a spare as well, which is really smart. Um, so it can work on the back of the laser. You can connect to it wirelessly via the wireless network, wired via the wired network port. And then you've got the emergency stop, which they do offer a longer cable for if you're in a position where you're not going to be close to it. Okay, so to set this all up, uh, the first thing, the easiest thing to do to get started is you're going to want to hook up your emergency stop cable. Okay, um, actually, before you do that, sorry, I'm out of order. The easiest way to do this, the best way, is first to key on, power on and key on the laser. So we go from red here to white okay that gets the laser going we're gonna do the same on the emergency stop so key goes in turns it from the red side to the white side we then go ahead we plug in both sides of the emergency stop cable which does have a little locking mechanism here we'll show you the overhead at which point hopefully you guys can see this up close at which point you can press the green button and when you do you should see these lights starting to pulse between the two. Oh, you have to make sure your red button is undone so in my case it wasn't undone then you can press the green button if they're blinking in sync uh, both before and after you press that green button that's a great sign there is a wait period on startup uh, with any lasers pretty much and so after you press the green button you don't have to hold it but it is going through that wait period then we've got solid lights on both sides so now you're ready to go ahead and start using your laser cube and all of these included accessories uh, and the first thing to do just so you guys are aware is if you point it at an object again no skies no eyes no cameras you can then open the front by loosening the thumb screws. And if you hold this mode button, it will actually shoot with a laser 
the mode that it's operating in. So you've got the ability to do LAN client, that means wired network, Wi-Fi client, test mode, um, Wi-Fi server when using multiple cues, cubes, LAN server, Wi-Fi server, um, and those are your options. Okay, so that's the basics of getting started with these. The laser cubes are awesome. They're a lot of fun. They're a great way you can really add to your show when you've already got a fair amount of lights or you want that laser type effect, um, which can be a lot of cool things, either graphics on a surface or aerial projection patterns through the air. Um, but no matter what, if you are interested in the laser cube, then hey, check out our full review. We'll have it out soon if we'll, and we'll link it here. And then also go ahead over to Learn Stage Lighting Gear check out all the laser cubes this is the most popular one and our, our highest recommended if you are looking for a laser cube because it's very bright at two and a half watts but it's not a lot more expensive than the one that's half the brightness um, and it has a lot of great features so check all of those out and we'll see you guys in our next video thanks